And here's one of the key thoughts that we want to put before you to be mulling about over the next couple of weeks. We want to maintain strong, centralized fiduciary practices and become increasingly decentralized in strategic activities. A key feature of this design is the Presbytery will welcome and encourage as much informal networking as well as formal partnerships for accomplishing our mission as possible. Or to put it this way, where two or more churches are doing mission together, that is the Presbytery in their midst. We want to be much more aware of the way in which we can, we can and do partner together, which we join in initiatives, where we step across the boundaries of our own congregations, where we share resources and work together and, so that we can further the mission. And we want to share staff, we want to share resources, we want to share ideas, and we want to bring people more and more together in informal networks and in formal partnerships. Okay, but what would it look like? Less committees and more networks and partnerships. An emphasis on open space gatherings. Imagine gatherings like this one where the bulk of the time was set aside in what we call the narthex work where people could gather together because they have interest and need and could spend time talking together as it's needed, not dictated by a committee or an agenda, but by the, by the pressing need in front of us. A more focused business meeting and staff serving as resources and brokers and coaches. Okay, what does it look like? We know this is what it looks like now. Let me give you a glimpse of what it might look like. A church is a learning community. A church is gathered together under one mission within a context of mission where the congregation see themselves sharing and gathering together in meetings with new ideas, in groups that come and also go, where they take on new initiatives that continue to expand and give themselves to other people, where maybe over time you'd have large, huge projects and then they'd go away. And then we'd meet at a presbytery gathering come together and we do a lot of the same work. People would gather. They'd have ideas. They would gather together to, for sakes of mission or initiatives. They'd disband. They would pass on their ideas to someone else. They'd gather mother, other people together. They would do, we do the same work at the Presbytery gathering as we do all the time. That is until we got to the place where we did our fiduciary meeting. Streamlined, less committees, the work we have to do. Some of you are immediately going to say, we've been doing this. I mean, a bunch of us have been doing this. There's a whole cluster of churches that shared sermons and resources. There's other clusters of churches that are together in mission. There are partnerships that are already happening. There are things going on that never got approved ever at a presbytery meeting or from a committee. And what we want you to know is, yeah, that's what we want to do. More and more and more informal networking, formal partnerships, making, ensuring that we do all the work we have to do as creative as we possibly can for the emerging challenges in front of us. On February 7th, we'll give you the overview of the whole design. We're going to hand it to you as what we call our first final draft. We're going to use from February 7th to the May Presbytery meeting to get as much input, to get as much insight, to have as much discussion as we possibly can so that we can see the new future of what God envisions for us.